Welcome to the Transformational Coach Podcast with me, Rona Barton, giving you competence with confidence. Welcome, lovely listeners. Thank you for joining me again this week for episode 27 of the Transformational Coach Podcast. This week, we're looking at intuition, and this is the last in our authenticity topic. Um, We've already covered looking at knowing yourself, being authentic and loving yourself, which was last week's topic. So intuition is what comes up this week. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you've had a a very exciting week um, or a week that has filled you with hope and wonder at what comes next. What I've been thinking about this week is that um, sort of hunch that some people have or that um, instinctive gut reaction that you can get um, to people, to circumstances, um, to certain topics or places. Um, And I wonder if you would agree that that is um, your gut or your intuition giving you a bit of a a heads up, if you like, perhaps a bit of a warning sign that what you've wandered into or the person that you've met, the place you're in, um, there's something to maybe be aware of or just be um, more present and conscious of. And for me, when we think about intuition, I know people say it's it's that feeling in your gut. It's a, I don't know why I know I'm so sure about this, but I just am. Um, I'm just going to go with it. It's a hunch. And for me, it's not necessarily that I feel that in my gut, but I actually feel it in my left armpit. I get um, quite a sharp pain every now and again when something possibly just isn't quite right. Um, And over the years, I have begun to recognise it and pay attention to it. Um, So... Sometimes you'll, if you see me sort of pressing on my left armpit, it could very well be that that's that's my intuition telling me, Oi, Rona, pay attention, something's going on here that you need to know about. So I wonder what works for you? Do you get that gut reaction? You know, does something happen um, in your stomach, for example? Where do you feel um, your intuition? And do you always pay attention to it? As I say, it took me years to figure out that's what was going on for me. Um, And even now, I can still make the decision to ignore that pain in my armpit um, and decide, no, I want to do this anyway. After all, we have free will, we have freedom of choice. You don't always have to follow the rules. So how do you know when your intuition is speaking to you? And have you stopped trusting your intuition? I find it an interesting thing um, to consider, certainly during um, the current global circumstances when we can be so unsure about so many things. You know, life is throwing so much new information at us at the moment and circumstances can change so quickly that I wonder if you've actually had a chance to stop and listen to your intuition, you know, to feel what's going on in your gut or to go with that hunch and decide, yes, I'm going to do this or, you know what, no, I don't want to. It doesn't feel right to me. What might you discover if you take a leap of faith and pay attention to your intuition? And what is the feeling that you've been ignoring? Is that your intuition? Or is it something else that's going on at the moment? For me, I think there's a lot of information that we all have buried in our subconscious mind and sometimes accessing it um, is subconscious as well and that's when it comes through in this hunch or this gut feeling you know that feeling when you instinctively know that something you are doing or somewhere you are is right or wrong it's possibly the same way that you can get a feel for or a sense of 
the look on somebody else's face, you know, if they look um, afraid, if they look scared, if they have a, a kindness vibe about them. You don't know why you feel that, you know, why it reflects onto you. It's just, it's a hunch, it's a feeling um, and it's subconscious. So what is it that works for you? And when will you start paying attention to your intuition again? What might it lead to for you? And does it tie with what we spoke about last week when it comes to loving yourself? You know, what you can be doing um, to embrace the things that make you happy. Have you ignored your intuition in these circumstances and, and stopped yourself from being able to be free to love yourself? As ever, let me know what you think. I'm keeping it short this week for you. There's a lot of questions in this week's one and I'll, as ever, put um, the main ones into the show notes for you. But please do reach out. Let me know what you think. Let me know where you feel your intuition. Are you a left armpit person as well? Or is that just me? (laughs) It's new and strange information that you can learn about me each week. Okay. Continue to look after yourselves. Please stay safe. And I'll speak to you next week when we move on to a new topic. And that new topic will be all about life balance and self-care. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.